we were in, if not the first, certainly close to the first, generation of professional women whose husbands ended up, you know, in charge of governments. Uh, and up until then, uh, there had been a kind of expectation that either there was a role to be filled and it was largely to be seen but not heard and not to do anything independently. And I remember I was very impressed how you really were determined to keep doing what you'd spent a lifetime preparing to do, which was to represent clients, stand up and speak out. And it was really brave, Cherie. Very difficult, but brave. Well, I, the thing about it was I always thought, and when, when I went into Downing Street, there had been always this assumption, as you say, seen and not heard. Um, I, later on, I spoke to Mary Wilson, whose husband, Harold Wilson, had been prime minister in the 60s and 70s. And she said, you know, at some points I used to think, why don't you just get a cardboard cutout of me and just stick it in the corner, you know, because mm-hmm. she, she felt so frustrated that that was literally what was expected of her. 